The Kokomo man can keep his anti-Joe Biden flag flying on the side of his house. The deal between Brandon Adams and the city ends a controversial case. IT mate first told you about back in October. IT mate's Richard Essex reports. The flag has one word on it that we cannot show you on TV. After our story, Adams found out that there were other people in Kokomo with the very same flag that had taken theirs down. So he dug in his heels, fought the city, and he won. All I wanted was, hey, acknowledge that you tried to violate my rights. Acknowledge that you can't try and violate anyone else's rights because this is protected political free speech. And the cost to fly that flag will cost the city of Kokomo a couple thousand dollars. The city is paying all of Adam's legal fees. Both parties came to an agreement that says the city lacks the power to punish Adam's or any other person for the content of the message on the flag, so long as there is no showing of an intent to incite disobedience or disruption, which was never Adam's intention. I'm a big fan of my freedoms, and I felt they were being trampled on. And the only way Brandon can fight the man, is, per se, is by hanging a flag, letting people know he's protesting. When he bought the flag, it stayed inside the house for about a month. He found a place for the flag on the side of his house after a series of events, such as the vaccine mandate and the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan. And when I saw your story saying four other people had taken theirs down, I said, well, um, that means four other people didn't know the rights or didn't have the money to hire a lawyer and fight back for them. So I wasn't going to back down at that point. The flag caught the attention of neighbors who complained to the city, claiming the language of the flag was offensive and in clear view of younger children. Adams says there is a bigger message behind that flag. You got something to say and it's your opinion. I don't care what it is. You say it. That's what this country was founded on. People getting together, throwing their different ideas, arguing about them, coming to an understanding. After our story, a group of people from across the state gathered at his house for a rally. He has no intention of taking the flag down anytime soon, and he hopes that those that have removed their flags will bring them back out. He says that he hopes that this victory will encourage others, regardless of their political party or their political views, to engage in what he says is protected political speech and to take a stand for what they believe in. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.